Sooner Scoop HD. Uh, disappointed again and obviously uh, not playing very well today uh, in any way, shape, or form. Um, we talked about starting uh, fast and efficient and uh, you know, playing well early, and we obviously uh, we didn't do that. You know, we gave up touchdowns on three of the four first uh, of their f four first drives, fumbled the ball on the opening uh, series of the game, and we possessed the ball. I uh, have ten possessions in the first half and scored 17 points, and you know uh, gave up uh, too many big plays today, and. There's a couple of busts for touchdowns today, uh, both in the, the passing game and the running game. And uh, I think we had four runs of 35 yards or more and um, five or six plays of 25 yards or more in the, in the passing game. Again, don't we, we're not very good, obviously, right now. We have a lot to get better at and a lot to improve. And our guys have been committed. They've worked incredibly hard. Thought they competed hard uh, the whole day. You know, we got to give them um, answers, and we've got to help get them better quickly. You know, things don't get any easier for us. And uh, you know, the commitment has been there. You know, we've at, everything that we've asked of them, they've they've uh, they've responded. And uh, so I'm incredibly disappointed for them. And um, you know, and again. I, you know, talent doesn't win games. Uh, teams win games, and uh, we got a lot to, to get better at to be to become a good football team. Brent, oh, sorry, Green. Yeah. What uh, what was your what was your thought process when you saw the hit that knocked Dylan out of the game, and uh, what you think about how he was playing to to that point and the update on his stats? Yeah, I don't have an, uh, an update. He's under, you know, uh, concussion protocol, and I don't think a whole lot about the hit. Uh, you know, it's football. You don't like it. It's part of the game. And um, uh, my concern is with Dylan and, and his health and his safety. And, um, you know, again, you know, as an offense, again, not – again, we went fumble, punt, field goal, downs, punt. Uh, then touchdown. You know, again, we first half we weren't as, again, uh, just didn't play well, missed opportunities, and, uh, you know, we're just not playing with, you know, great uh, cohesion uh, right now as, as a football team, you know, giving them big plays on, on defense and uh, you know, turning the ball over or, again, just not being efficient on offense. Uh, recipe for disaster. TCU, uh, give them credit. I thought they, they were a good-looking team on film, and uh, they didn't disappoint. You know, uh, thought they're uh, big, strong, fast receivers, and uh, they did a good job of creating some matchups. And I thought we were again a couple of them. We we, we were in a three deep coverage in the, early in the game, and we should be on top of the route. And uh, we don't. And there's nobody home. The guy's wide eyed. They're, he's wide open. And uh, really, uh, they run a smash route. You know, one of the receivers stopped, and the other one went vertical. We're in 3D. Nobody's in the same zip code. And then uh, they made a couple of competitive plays. Uh, you know, we I thought we panicked a couple of times when the ball was in the air. You got to get our head back. We're in phase. We're in a good position. Uh, don't grab. Get your head back around. Play through the man, through his eyes, through his hands. And uh, we didn't do that under pressure and critical situations. We got to help our guys play with better fundamentals. Better awareness and and uh, and don't panic. And uh, so I thought we did that today. We misfit some runs again. And this is a team that uh, the way they're running the ball downhill and some of their counter plays and their zone plays, uh, they run through trash. And and uh, if you're not in a the gap, they're gonna. Uh, they did a good job of, of finding those those holes. Again, not not great on uh, third down again on either side of the ball. And, uh, and again, couldn't get into into a, a great rhythm, you know, uh, as a football team. 
What's your level of disappointment with not matching their physicality, and how far do you guys have to go to be able to do that? State last week. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what that level is. I mean, you, you can't be more or less disappointed, you know. Uh, so, again, physicality, and it's not always, you know, just physical, but sometimes you gotta, you got to be able to strain through the top of a route being physical, or, again, you got to, uh, you know, you got to whoop a block and get off, get off a block and make a play, too. So there's physicality with that. And you know, some of it's just uh, some execution uh, issues as well. We got to help our guys execute better. Period. Uh, you know, we got to get them to fit fit things. If there's no body in the gap, uh, they're going to find it. If there's a hole in the fence. Uh, you know, people are going to find it. So, uh, and just incredib incredibly inconsistent. You know, with how we're playing. You know, uh, these last two weeks. I don't. I don't know. I mean. And not very. <laughs> Brent, controlling their run, you couldn't really get on top of that today. Talk about how that is influencing your defense most of the day. Yeah, I mean, again, the, the explosive runs are the ones that really are the ones that are backbreakers, you know. Now, they're going to get some, some plays here or there, but you can't give up the explosives. And uh, today, you know, we did that. Like I said, um, uh, you know, I think, yeah, they had to 67, 36. 69 and a 35. Those are the rushes and the pass plays. 73 yarder and 72 yarder, both busted plays. Uh, you know, one's a, a four over three concept, and uh, we don't zone it out. And uh, we sh should be in overlap coverage. You know, on number two, and he runs down the seam, and then another was a three deep concept where one guy stops and the other run guy runs a go route, and we're in three deep, and our third player's not there. And next thing you know. You know, you're giving up big play touchdowns. You're you're not being efficient on offense, and it, and it got away from us. You know, uh, we were bad, but we're not that bad. And but it happened. And uh, you can't give, uh, you know, you can't give away touchdowns to people and expect to to win games. And so uh, it avalanched on us uh, today, and and uh, you know we did a poor job of of getting out of it. You know, but our guys, I thought our guys uh, competed uh, the second half. Uh, I'm not taking uh, solace into that, but, you know, you're looking for everything, you know, when things aren't going your way. You're looking for everything. And uh, so uh, second half, you know, gave up again a three-play 80-yard drive and six-play 67-yard drive for, you know, two more touchdowns, you know, three punts and a downs. Uh, turnover on downs, you know, and again on on offense, three punts, downs, and a punt and a uh, touchdown, you know, a uh, 14 play drive. So, uh, you know, I thought Davis Bevel came in and, and did some nice things. I was proud of Davis, and uh, I thought guys uh, continued to compete, uh, you know, in that second half, you know. Uh, so, confidence is a chicken and egg thing. Yeah, you know, it looks like your guys made not have much confidence now. Is that true? And what do you what do you do to, to remedy that? Yeah, again, uh, it's not a new formula. You know, right. formula for success and uh, and winning, uh, you know, are the same things it's always been. And so, you know, the psyche can be a fragile thing. Uh, and so to me they're gonna respond how we respond. And so we gotta uh, be the example. Do like you would do it, whether you won or you, whether you lost. Uh, we can have some accountability uh, to everyone. Take ownership. Uh, you know, address the issues that were there. Um, improve our fundamentals. You know, make sure that we're putting them in, in schemes that um, are uh, advantageous. And then we got to get our guys to execute. That's what coaches are supposed to do. And you know, right now we've done a poor job of that. I mean, that's obvious. So. It's a little bit of everything, and you, know, you have a, a routine and how you do what you do. Uh, certainly, you're always examining those things, but it's been a r routines that how you practice and how you watch film and how you correct and uh, things that you put in front of your guys to uh, to get better. You know that formula won't change. Brent, can you talk a little bit about what you saw with Demond's injury in the fourth quarter, and then overall, he had a lot of guys: Billy Bowman, Eric Gray, Wanye, just a lot of physical, took a physical toll today. Yeah, I thought I think Theo uh, banged himself up a little bit. 
uh, as well. Is there someone else? Yeah, Billy. He said Billy. Uh, but I, I, don't, I didn't really see anything other than there was a run uh, right at DeMond and uh, saw him maybe, I think he got knocked backwards and again had some, he's had a history of some back issues and uh, the surgeon that was there felt like his neck was uh, stable and okay. But, you know, they're going to do a, uh, get an MRI and check him out. And uh, taking obviously some precautions, and obviously was in some pain, uh, an awful lot of pain. And um, you know, Billy got hurt on the kickoff return, and uh, we'll have to, you know, he'll be under evaluation and see uh, what that looks like. Um, and I thought Demond came in and did some good things, uh, and then uh, we had to, you know, move a third guy over there, you know, as well. So, how much of the tackling wrapping up is, is the call? Is, you know, after a player misses, you know, a tackle or two, how much is that kind of avalanche from one player? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You know, I, defense is trained reaction. You develop good habits. Your habits will show up in a game. Uh, you know, we have we have some periods of live. Uh, we do a lot of tackling drills. Uh, you know, it's leverage. It's, it's um, aggressiveness within the scheme. Uh, it's trust. It's trust in your eyes and not not second guessing what you're seeing. We, you know, to me, it goes back to a first drive. You know, four plays. You know, uh, 46 yards for a touchdown. And the very first play of the game is exactly what we can't do. And they got a little run RPO on the perimeter, little one man, one blocker, little sc screen. And you know, we got a corner. It's got to set the edge and stay outside the block. If you run down the middle of the blocker, the receiver can catch the ball on a minus two yard catch and run outside of you for six or seven and now it's second and three second and four okay and you can't play good defense to me those are layup plays you gotta your helps inside stay outside set the edge set it right now uh, when your key tells you to and right now we're we're very inconsistent at doing that and that's the first play on defense today and um, in, in, in an area that that's how their offense gets you on their heels and then you create some one-on-one -on -one matchups from there and guys got bad eyes or guys aren't trusting what their keys are telling them trying to do a little too much and bad stuff happens sooner scoop hd